You're determined to be healthy and become the best version of yourself you can be. There's nothing holding you back. In fact, you're doing everything right you can possibly think of. You're trying to be healthy and eat a balanced diet. You don't drink tons of alcohol or eat junk food all day. You schedule and make time to work out. You prepare healthy meals in advance and have the right proportions of protein, such as chicken, you get your vegetables and fruit, and drink mostly water. On top of this, you've gotten blood work done and take supplements to make up for any possibility of micronutrient deficiency. Needless to say, you take your health seriously. Yet, you're still human and compare yourself to other people. It can be discouraging when you see someone else doing a similar workout, or even worse, you see someone else who seems to be working less hard than you, looks like they are eating crap and seem to still be getting better results than you. What is going on? What else can you possibly do? Yet there is one thing you might be neglecting outside of regular exercise, eating healthy, and taking care of yourself. Making sure you are getting enough sleep. Are you getting enough sleep to feel recovered in the morning? How do you feel when you wake up? Do you have a hard time falling asleep or watch shows late into the night? In this video, we will discuss sleep and the many benefits that will help you feel healthier and stronger by sleeping more. Please subscribe and hit the bell to turn on notifications so we can keep bringing you practical advice for everyday people looking to get into shape. The odds are still not in your favor. If you are on track with most things, but are staying up late, have a mostly nocturnal schedule, or if you are not getting close to eight hours of sleep, you're probably holding yourself back without meaning to. I'm not saying this is the only thing but it definitely could be holding you back for maximum recovery and strength and overall health. According to WebMD, getting regular exercise and sleep in combination can help with sharper brain function, mood boosting, healthier heart, athletic achievement, steadier blood sugar, germ fighting, and weight control. Simply, you will not see the best results possible if you don't give yourself the chance to rest and recover overnight. All people, animals, any living thing really need sleep for survival. Beyond survival, optimal sleep is needed to be able to remember things, move well in physical activities, and maintain focus. To summarize the benefits of getting enough sleep, healthy weight maintenance, having a stronger immune system, such as not getting sick as often, having a lower risk of serious chronic disease, reduced stress and better mood, thinking more clearly with all activities, getting along with people, and good decision making, just to name a few. Make the time to sleep and your body will take care of you. This does kind of sound like a magic pill almost. While well, sleeping does help with body composition, it's not quite a magic pill. However, it may be somewhat of a cure-all or helping to fix with things in terms of improving your body composition and fat loss. Sleeping does not help you lose more weight when compared to those who get less sleep. However, it will help you lose the right type of weight. 55% of those in the study who slept more lost more fat even though they weighed the same. It signals to your body to naturally help you maintain a healthier body composition. After all, losing fat is what most people are trying to achieve. There are some important facts to know on sleep. Most adults need seven or eight hours of uninterrupted sleep a night. I would recommend trying to get anywhere from seven to nine hours of good, high quality, uninterrupted sleep when possible. Don't take my word for it though, this is not just my opinion. The research studies show that while individual sleep needs may vary, according to the American Academy of Sleep Medicine and the Sleep Research Society, they recommend that average adults should sleep seven or more hours per night on a regular basis to promote optimal health. The National Sleep Foundation provides similar recommendations still in the seven to nine hours of sleep range and seven to eight hours for older adults. Being sleep deprived can lead to more mistakes. You may forget things or not be able to hold on to memories and remember things as quickly, if at all. Try to get seven plus hours of sleep and see how you feel. For a little bit more specific recommendations based on some age groups, ideally teenagers need about eight to 10 hours of sleep for school and to be able to be healthy. School-aged children that are younger need nine to 12 hours. So there's a range there, but, but nine to 12. Remember, this is not a one size fits all. So of course it can vary from person to person. I realize everyone is different and some people need a little more or a little less. Listen to your body and see what you best respond to. Make sure your sleep is high quality. And I know that this can involve a lot of work on your end. 
plan it out in advance and try to stick to a schedule. Obviously things can happen in life, but if you have a game plan and time you usually go to bed, it will give you a good schedule. Try to unwind for the hour or so before bed. I would recommend turning off your computer screen, putting away your phone, reading a book, or even putting on some relaxes, relaxing music. Focus on some deep breathing, whatever works best for you. Leave comments below with what you will do to help unwind before bed. There are studies that show that if you get less sleep than you need or sleep derived, it can be harder to metabolize glucose. This process is when your body breaks down carbohydrates. This is when they are broken down into sugars that are then transported throughout your body. When you get less sleep, you will in turn have a lower glucose tolerance and your insulin sensitivity will suffer. This is because lower sleep raises ghrelin, which is the hormone that makes you feel more hungry, and lowers leptin, which makes you feel more full. This in turn can lead to feelings of more hunger, cravings, and bigger glucose swings in a vicious cycle of up and down blood sugar. To add to this, sleep helps to regulate many of your hormones and has an impact on testo excuse me, testosterone and IGF-1 or growth hormone that is naturally produced in your body. You need these to be able to function at a high level in physical activities. This applies to both men and women alike. Although men have more testosterone overall, it is needed in both sexes to function and perform at healthy levels. This is your recovery time needed for your body to be able to balance out and get this by sleeping. When you reach a deeper level of sleep, it is known as REM sleep. It is, if it is disrupted, your hormones can take much longer to repair your body and lean tissue muscle. Therefore, no matter how much time you put in the workouts, you may reach a point of diminishing returns when it would have been better to have gotten more sleep. Keep this in mind when trying to balance time and activities in your life. There have been numerous studies that show that those who sleep in the daytime don't have as high quality of REM sleep. There have been correlation to higher cortisol secretion, and too much cortisol is a stressor that's not good for your body. It can lead to you not feeling as well and having inflammation, weakened immune system, different things in which you can get sick easier. Further symptoms can include rapid weight gain, particularly in your midsection, high blood pressure, thinning of your bones, basically osteoporosis, um, bruises, easier to get stretch marks, muscle weakness, and high blood sugar. Basically, your body will not function optimally. You may be able to get by on less sleep at first, but you will see some of these noticeable side effects with time that will gradually leave you feeling crummy. To expand on having a general sleep schedule, I would recommend trying to stay within a half an hour of when you normally go to sleep or get up. For example, if you usually go to bed at 9 o'clock, don't go to bed more than a half hour later if possible. If you do get off, it can mess up how refreshed you feel in the morning and your overall recovery. You can still have a life and stay up on the weekends. I'm just saying in general, for most nights, try to stick to a schedule. Your body, you know, so to speak, has a biological clock that gets used to the pattern of daylight and, and where you live. Some people work nights, some people travel. I get that things are not always perfect. However, I would try to make the room as quiet and dark as possible a little bit in advance so that you can sleep better. Just put a little more thought into it than you currently do. If you're feeling sleepy, you will probably get less done at work or be less effective at the gym. Any activity and its effectiveness will be hampered. Don't cut sleep to get a longer workout as you will probably not be better for it and will tire out quicker. There have been multiple studies to show you will have a slower reaction time. You will probably be able to perform at a high intensity but just tire out quicker. For those of you who are having trouble sleeping, I hear you, I get it. There can be a number of culprits that are messing with your sleep schedule. You could be having pain or be injured. You could be going through a stressful or anxious part of your life or many other different health conditions. It also could have to deal with drinking too much alcohol or having caffeine or even down to when you have the caffeine. If any of these are causing trouble, mix it up. Change the time you work out. If you work out at night, move it to a morning workout time. If you're having a hard time falling asleep, either take less caffeine if you take it earlier in the day and less close to your bedtime. Personally, I try to avoid taking it four to six hours before I go to sleep to ensure I get a restful night of sleep. Change something up from your current routine and see if it helps. When in doubt, just go to sleep. There are millions of things that can take up our time and prevent sleep. I get it, life is busy, and sometimes at the end of the day, there is still a to-do list, dirty house, laundry, you name it. Stick to a schedule and give yourself a time to sleep so when you are awake, you are more productive. Put the phone, the computer, or TV away and close your eyes. 
None of these are a good enough excuse to not get some good rest and recover. Let us know if you're feeling better when you do so. Please subscribe and leave comments below. As always, Average Joe Fitness, bringing practical advice to everyday people.